Let me tell you a story about the guy who born in New Jersey, USA. Hi, everyone. This guy, when he was a teenager, has two passions, skateboarding and streetwear. His sister gave to him as a birthday present a pair of diesel uh, jeans that at that time were very expensive and exclusive. Then he moved to California, to San Francisco, and started to keep digging in the streetwear world and the denim world. Moved to Los Angeles to join as apprentice to learn how to uh, make jeans. Since then, developed the passion for custom-made uh, jeans. And he realized that he can start a brand. And that brand was Rock Territory. Let's review a gene of uh, this guy and see how is the quality, how the characteristics and is worth the, the, the price and how is the fitting. See you inside. Okay, these are the Rock Territory. Uh, are not brand new. I have a, a pair brand new. Uh, this was a brand new not long ago. But uh, I want to show you my experience with, with this uh, brand, which I really admire. Um, I'm going to show you my, my collection of uh, has two yeah, different stages of uh, this 15 ohms, 15 ohms proprietary denim. I have a black with stelt, yeah, all skinny fit, all skinny fit. This is a uh, Nihon, uh, Nihon Mempu. This is Nihon Mempu. These are proprietary denim. Yeah, a different, there are difference. We can talk in later about this. And I have this uh, double do, uh, double denim. Yeah, there is in 16 ohms, this two, and this is 13 ohms more for summer. Also, I have a, a office trouser and EIC, uh, what is Indigo Savage Canvas. Okay. This indigo salvage canvas, okay? You can see the, the salvage. They are really good uh, trousers. I use uh, at work these trousers. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the main main uh, topic. <sighs> my interest is to review and let you know my my, um, my my thought about the quality construction and what stand uh, the ground these jeans and why you must have one pair of these and the, um, the ups and downs of this brand. Let's put all these things apart. Let's put everything up, apart, side. Then we can focus in these two. These are for two periods. The, um, the claimer first. Uh, I don't looking for fades. I let that have naturally after use. I never look for fades. That's why I have a lot of jeans because I don't like really much the face. And my kind, uh, my line of work, then is not the right thing to wear um, uh, fade jeans at work. And the rest of my life, uh, well, I used to use, uh, wear more iron rain, iron heart than, than this uh, rock territory, but are really, really good. Let's start with the old ones. These are the old ones. Why I have two of these, uh, I, why I present this, I'm going to tell you. Because at work, I can cuff the jeans. Are, are not, it's not something that I, is possible for me. Then I make this hem in 32, in, 32 inches and, and in, in, in seam. But let's see, let's see how the characteristics. First, let's talk about the jeans. This guy, uh, Carl Thompson, which is the owner of uh, uh, Rogue Territory, uh, with uh, his wife, um, when when was asking about uh, the jeans, how he decided to uh, how he 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 visualized in his mind the jeans. The first thing he say uh, what he say is need to be different to the common jeans. You know the Japanese jeans are always focused in the big brands, uh, more in Levi's, are more that kind of style, even in different ways of thinning is always focused in the American brands. He tried to make the difference. He tried to do something different. Then initially they released uh, the stand-on, which is called the standard, standard fit. And then after that, the skinny fit, and now it has relaxed fit too, to fit more or less all type body. Because initially the stand-on and skinny were really more fit, suitable for, for people who, who are not 
with bi uh, bigger builds. Then it was difficult for some people who want to have a pair of these jeans uh, buy ones. But let's talk about now how is uh, the style of these jeans and what is the difference. Okay, the construction is six pockets. You want to see why? Yeah, the pockets, yeah, normal. Here it has uh, the loop belts are attached to the waist uh, waistband. Okay. Let's see the rivets, okay? The rivets, the rivets here. Here you see the quality of the rivets. This it has a, a quite quite. Um, I wear for a quite quite a long time these jeans already. Then I have no problem or issues uh, really with the construction. That's my experience. The bottoms are you see, level with rock territory. Yeah, and metal bottles. The other side too. As a rock territory stamp. Uh, and now, let's back, let's put the other way, the other side. Let's see the difference here. Look at the shapes of the, the shape of the, of the pockets. Yeah, are not straight. It has a curve, a slight curve here. Has the lasso stitch, which is identical or the brand. And has what they call the pen the pen pocket, okay? Some people like it, some people dislike it, but it's now a characteristic of this brand. You, you see a pen pocket there, you know are uh, talking about uh, rock territory. See how it's the construction, yeah? Uh, bar tacking on the loop belts, which are quite big, yeah? A good enough space. Our stain, uh, chain stitch, it's a leather patch, Really thick leather patch for being 15 uh, ohms. This is proprietary denim. Yeah, this is proprietary denim. This was the first pair of I own of uh, Rock Territory. Since then, I, I, I wore all the rest. Um, what the characteristic of this denim? This denim stretch a lot. This denim stretch a lot. Let's see inside out to see how is the quality and the characteristic of the skin. Being skinny are really flattering the figure in my case it still has this deal level yeah deal level chain stitches it's not a fillet, fillet seams just double construction here you see at the, the selvage which is blue denim selvage you see here blue denim selvage I don't know where is the mill that uh, provide the proprietary dining. They don't say in the website, and it was difficult to 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 find out where was the origin. Then the pockets, bar tacking, bar tacking. Okay, not um, high end rivets, bar tacking. And another thing that I forget. This uh, are lined half the bottom line. Uh, you can I can see you can see the stitch here is where the line ran. Okay. I will see some bleeding of the denning inside. I don't know if you can appreciate some bleeding of the denning. I wash not really often these jeans. Uh, because I don't wear, I don't, uh, don't, uh, don't give heavy wearing to the jeans really. I go to the office, uh, and that's it. Uh, around home, I don't do nothing particular. You see more bleeding here. This is stamp. Yeah, keep the trade alive. That's the stamp. Where say our skinny jeans, skinny, uh, skinny feet. Yeah, skinny feet. The proprietary level, okay, Japanese uh, salvage denim, and this is the basic of the construction. See, it's not a sloppy construction. Look at this. This is a really good construction. There is salvage in one side. It's salvage in one side, okay. That's is is uh, in the other side. Not this is the different with, for example, iron iron heart. And hard has in both sides. 
uh, in a pocket, in a, in a watch or coin pocket, a savage too. This is really, after wearing this, it's really good quality denim. It's a really good quality of construction. There is no loose threads. I'm holding with the time, with the regular use. I don't put in test the shins. I don't skateboard. I don't go to a mountain. I don't do body work, uh, uh, work with my, my body. These are size 34. These are size 34. Uh, I'm in between in 34 and 33, uh, 33. Because the problem with these jeans are that stretch. They're stretch. That is something that you need to keep in mind if you're going to buy these jeans. Because stretching is, could be a little bit loose for you. But, well, let's see how the measurements of this after stretching, how is uh, the, the, the measurements that I have. They have two washes, three washes, four washes. Four washes in, oof, <laughs> in five years. Oh, but don't smell, eh? Don't smell. That, that doesn't smell. That's it's because I don't wear it often. This it's in my rotation. I had a huge rotation. I had a lot of denim. Then I keep well. I never put the, the the jeans in the in the fridge. That's I think it's not worth it at all. It has no logical from the but uh, biological point of view. Eighteen point five. Eighteen point eight is the waist. Eighteen point eight. These are medium low race. Look at the front race is 10.5. 10.5. That's more close to the low race, a uh, medium race. These are 15. Okay? Uh, 15. Sitting really well in the waist, sitting really well in the hips. It's, I have no problem with these jeans. But my uh, body type is, has slim, uh, slim uh, legs. Then, of course, this that is not for everyone. <clears throat> the size 34 has a 12.5, 12.5. The tight. The seam 32. I already tell you because I make him this. The see the knee. The knee is. 8.5, 8.5, and the hem at this height after remove the um, after hemming is 7.8. That's the hem. This is a measurement size 34. Uh, I want to compare this with the, the 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 same the same model, but has this has uh, one year, less than a year, less than a year. This it's it changed anything in the construction. Which is important because you know sometimes when the brands start to be successful, they start to cut in cutting edges and the cost and the, the quality start going down. But still is the same proprietary denim, the very same proprietary denim, cover the shapes, yeah, this is a pen button, you know, this is a pen pocket, sorry. This is the, the leather patch, which are fine. You see it here, it's some blue threads here, but nothing that impact in the in the service of the, the den itself. The characteristics are fine. You see, they change the big level replaced for this level, size 33. Okay. Still proprietary denim. R33, this fit much, much better than the other. And let's see the length of the, the let's see the measurements of these jeans. 33. And then you're gonna see the difference between jeans. It's already stretched, this has no wash, no wash yet. 18.3, 18 18.3. 18 the front rise in 33, that's mean two different size. 10, the same, 10, two. The back rise is the back rise is 15. Okay, there is no change. Let's see the tight. Let's see the tight. 
it's the very same uh, measurement that the, the, uh, the previous one uh, after uh, washing. Yeah? The other was washing. These are unwashed yet. I didn't wash the shins. If I do, I always do with uh, in cold water, wash machine, 20 degrees or what you say, cold water, 36. The inseam is 36. And the knee, 13, yeah, 13 here. And the knee is 8.4, 8.4. Then I usually wash all my, my denims uh, in cold water, inside out, with uh, bullite uh, kind the, the the soap, bullite, okay, and spin. I spin then uh, six hundred or less. If we four hundred available, better, and I have no problem. With a rain catch or no problem, never. It, so far so good. These are really good quality, really good construction. I really recommend to buy one of this pair. I really recommend it needs to be part of your collection. If you like to collect um, or you're a denning head, you need to have one of these. You need to have one of these. are really, really good quality. Even though it's not anymore in uh, one male operation, this already has diversified, uh, has diversified the, 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 the production, then it's not working anymore in the, in the garage, <laughs> health for sure. But the quality is fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, that thing is something that worked a lot. Let's see how is the fitting and what do you think about uh, this, these two these jeans. I'm going to try the 33, not the 34. I'm going to try the 33 to see how fit this on me. Okay, see you outside. Okay, this is how fit these jeans. Remember, this is 33 in size, fit skinny, proprietary denim, 15 ohms. See the side, see the back, see the other side. The, to me, this is one of the best fitting jeans that I own. Final thoughts. Then, what do you think about these jeans? Uh, I think it's uh, one of the best American-made jeans. Uh, forget about the big brands. I think it's really worth it. The construction is really sturdy. The quality of the materials are really good. I already wear this for a long time, more than five years, uh, wearing these jeans. I have no problem or, or issues whatsoever. I think you can miss, you cannot miss one pair of this. Okay, you're never gonna regret having in your collection a pair of good rip territory. Now has widened the, the fit that offer, I think there is a, a place for rip territory in your wardrobe. See you in the next, bye.